Can you speak to kind of the process of writing and designing a great prompt as you steer GPT-4? Hmm. I'm not good at this. I've met people who are. <laughs> yeah. And the creativity, the kind of, they almost, some of them almost treat it like debugging software. Mm -hmm. um, but also they, they, I've met people who spend like, you know, 12 hours a day for a month on end at the, on this. And they really get a feel for the model and a feel how different parts of a prompt compose with each other. Like literally the ordering of words. This, the, yeah, the where you put words. the clause, when you modify something, what kind of word to do it with. Yeah, it's so fascinating because like- It's you remarkable. Know, in some sense, that's what we do with human conversation, right? In interacting with humans, we try to figure out like, what words to use to unlock uh, greater wisdom from the other, uh, the other party, the friends of yours or a significant others. Uh, here, you get to try it over and over and over and over. Unlimited. You could experiment. Yeah, there's all these ways that the kind of analogies from humans to AIs like breakdown and the the parallelism, the sort of unlimited rollouts. That's a big <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but there's still some parallels that don't break down. There, there is something 100%. deeply because it's trained on human data. There's, um, it feels like it's a way to learn about ourselves by interacting with it. Some of it, as the smarter and smarter it gets, the more it represents, the more it feels like another human in terms of um, the kind of way you would phrase a prompt to get the kind of thing you want back. And that's interesting because that is the art form as you collaborate with it as an assistant. This becomes more relevant for, well, this is relevant everywhere, but it's also very relevant for programming, for example. 